Hello guys, good evening. Hello everyone, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello teacher. Hello, how are you? Mm, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> Friday. Friday, right? It's Friday and the body knows. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome to your class. This is your class number four. So thank you for connecting on time. I'm going to share with you in this moment uh, the class presentation. You will see it in a moment. How was your day, guys? 
How was your day? Good, busy, relaxing. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? How was your day? Pretty good, relaxed, or busy. Busy and tiring. <laughs> okay, today is Friday, April 21st, 2023. And the topic is the numbers and common objects. So that's the topic. We are going to study. We're going to practice the numbers in English and the common objects. So let's start. By the end of this class, the lesson objective, at the end of this class, the students will be able to exchange phone numbers. And by the end of this class, you will become familiar with common objects, language the people have in their events. Okay? So before we start, I'm going to take the attendance. So please stay present or here when I mention your name. Okay, so let's start with Adriana Noemi Quintani. Present. Thank you, Adriana. Briseida Yarisa Melgar. Present. Thank you, Bri. David Moises Ventura. Present. Thank you, David. Se lo escucha bien, bajito. Dolores Elizabeth López. Present. Thank you, Dolores. Edith Rivera. Present. Thank you. Elise, sorry. Edwin René Solís. Ed, Present. Okay, thank you, Edwin. Elisa María García. Present. Elisa. Erika Elizabeth Carranza. Present. Thank you, Erika. Stephanie Carolina. Present. Thank you, Stephanie. Fátima Ponce. Present. Thank you, Fátima. Hilma Pérez. Jonathan Vicente Escobar. Present. Thank you, Jonathan. José Alfredo Cruz. Karen Tatiana Hernández. Present. Thank you. Catherine Vanessa Blanco. Present. Thank you, Kathleen. Linda Fermán Díaz. Present. Thank you, Linda. Lizette Marisol López. Present. Thank you, Lizette. Marilyn Yesenia Ortiz. Present. Thank you, Marilyn. María Vilma Cortés. Present. Thank you, María Vilma. Marlon Adonai Morán. Present. Thank you, Marlon. Melanie Fabiola Cuellar. Michelle Abigail Nieto. Present teacher. Thank you, Michelle. Miriam Darlene Escobar. Present. Thank you, Miriam. Rosibel Esmeralda Laine. Present. Thank you. Okay, did I mention everyone? Mencioné a todos. Los presentes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for connecting on time. So guys, as I told you, we are going to study the numbers. So first, this is easy, right? The numbers from one to 10. A ver, ¿quién me dice los números del uno al diez? From one to 10 in English. Adriana Noemi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Thank you, Adriana. Okay, very nice. That's good. Now, in the next picture, we have the numbers from 1 to 50. <laughs> A ver, ¿quién se anima del 11 to 20? The numbers from 11 to 20, María Vilma. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, thank you. From 21 to 30. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Let me see. Uh, Rosibel. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Thank you. Dolores, 31 to 40. Or one. Forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Thank you, Dolores. A ver, ¿qué? <ríe> se saltó, Dolores. <ríe> A ver, ¿quién me lee del 31 to 40? 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. 39 y 40. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Marilyn. Okay, I can see that you have a good idea about the numbers in English. Okay, I will tell you something, guys. The numbers from 11 to 20, there is a, something very interesting that you need to know. For example, we have 11, 12, and then we start with 13. The emphasis is in teen, okay? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Why? Because in that way, we don't confuse, for example, 14 and 40. Si no hacemos bien el emphasis en la última sílaba, Lo podemos confundir, el 14 con el 40. For, for, si usted se lo dice 40, 14. It's 14, 40. 13, 30, 30. 15, 50. 16, 60. 17, 70. 18, 80. 1990. Okay. Then we have 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And this is sometimes difficult to pronounce, but it's 30. Okay. You have to pull your tongue under your teeth. Right. 30. 30. And then we have 31. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Let me confess something. Les voy a confesar algo. Los números que más me costaron a pronunciar era el 13, 13, 3, 13, and 30. Me costó mucho cuando aprendí inglés. Me costó mucho. Pero un compañero me ayudó. Así que, mire qué valiosos son sus compañeros. Con quien usted puede practicar. Y ahora que tenemos el internet, también usted puede escucharlo muchas veces en YouTube o en internet. Y practicar. ¿David tiene una pregunta? Sí, una pregunta. En este caso, el cero, ¿cómo sería? Ah, ok. ¿El es cero? Que he escuchado que tiene como dos, dos pronunciaciones diferentes. Sí, puede ser zero y también se puede decir como la letra O. Uh, oh, no. 
No varía el significado en ese aspecto. No varía el significado en ese aspecto. Por ejemplo, sorry, por ejemplo cuando decimos el número de teléfono, ¿se puede decir zero o puede decir o? Oh? Porque era. Oh, ok. Ok, then we have 41, 42, 43, 44, 46, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Y de seguro ya se saben del 50 to 100. Del 50 al 100. Les voy a enviar estos ejercicios para que lo hagan durante el fin de semana. I'm going to send you these exercises so you can practice the listening and the writing during the weekend. So now let's practice the numbers. Que la mejor forma de aprender es practicando, practicing. So here we have, for example, we have we use the numbers to say phone numbers, work phone number, el teléfono del trabajo, home phone number, el teléfono de casa, and the cell phone number. Por ejemplo, ¿quién me quiere leer el de Ana Silva? Work phone number. Any volunteer? Briseida. Ana Silva's uh -huh. numbers. Briseida lo puede leer, por favor. Ok. 201-555-2491. Ok, y lea así la oración. Ana Silva's home phone number is... Okay. Ana Silva's work phone number is 201-555-2491. Thank you. Okay, continue. Ana Silva's home phone number is 914-555-2714. Very good. Ana Silva's cell phone number is 845-555-1023. Excellent, Briseida. Great job. So, as you notice here, para decir, um, por ejemplo, aquí dice, el teléfono de trabajo, el número de teléfono del trabajo de Ana Silva es. Entonces, si se fijan, después de Silva hay un apóstrofe y hay una S. Ese apóstrofe y esa S estoy muy segura que lo han visto muchas veces. Pero a veces las personas no lo buscan bien. Pero en este caso... Es un apóstrofe, es esta coma que ven aquí arriba, no es una coma, <ríe> se llama apóstrofe. Así se llama ese, ese símbolo, apóstrofe. Y en este caso se utiliza para indicar posesión. Por ejemplo, Ana Silva, work phone number. Entonces es, que dice aquí? El teléfono, el número de teléfono de trabajo de Ana Silva. Siempre se lo, le vamos a poner el apóstrofe y la S a el dueño de las cosas, a quien posee las cosas. Por ejemplo, en vez de Ana Silva, podríamos poner The teacher's phone number is. ¿Mm? No sé si me comprendieron eso. Yo creo que sí. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Good. Good. Ahora tenemos otro ejemplo aquí. James Lian's work phone number is. A ver, ¿quién levantó la manita para participar? ¿Quién me gustaría leer eso? Would like to read? Edith, please. O o five five eight eight nine six. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay, very nice, Edith. Thank you. Good. So, as you can see, it's easy. It's very easy. En inglés, casi siempre se va diciendo number by number, número por número. En español, a veces no, lo decimos 75, 40, 82, 60. Pero en inglés normalmente se dice number by number, número por número. También se puede decir, eh, por ejemplo, 800, 555, A893. Pero pues usualmente casi siempre es number by number. Now, guys, eh, this is an example of what you are going to do in a moment. In a moment, you are going to practice saying all your numbers. For example, here I have my cell phone number is 7068-6497. My work number is 2239-8055. My home's number is 2213-4687. My mother's number is 7511A452. And my sister's number is 75006741. So you are going to work in pairs or in small groups. You're going to ask each other, ask and answer each other the number. And you have to take notes, okay? Entonces van a ir a la salita y van a eh, preguntarse, what's your cell phone number? What is your words number? What is your home's number? What is your mother's number? Y usted no está obligado a decir sus, sus números personales exactamente. Le puede cambiar un número por si usted desea. ¿verdad? Ok, entonces vamos a ir a los grupitos y vamos a hacer ese ejercicio de practicar los números de teléfono. Con tres números que usted escriba está bien. ¿Ok? Puede ser su, cel su celular, el número de su casa, o el número de su trabajo, eh, o puede ser el de alguien más. ¿eh? Algún amigo. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna, any question before we start? ¿Alguna pregunta antes que vayan a los grupos y practiquen? ¿No? So far so good, ok. Eh. 
Sigo. Sí, verdad. <laughs> My mother number I is seven seven nine nine one four one seven. My sister number is seven four zero six eight four three one. My cell number is seven one seven eight six five nine ten. Yes, can I break it? My cell phone. My cell phone number is okay. Okay, nice. Continue, please. My what? Le voy a hacer la pregunta. Le voy a hacer la pregunta a Lisette. My what is your phone number? Phone number? My cell phone number is five five zero five zero three three eight. Okay. The siguiente pregunta. What is your works number? My mother number is seven zero eight zero eight nine five nine six six. Eight. What is your home home number? My home number is two. Okay. Bueno. Hello. Hello. Did you ask each other the questions about the numbers? Ya se preguntaron. Eh, sí. Ah, no, did you take notes? Sí. ¿Anotaron? ¿Anotó los de Marilyn y Marilyn anotó los suyos? Eh, sí, tengo los de tres. Tres me preguntamos. Ok, great. Good job for you. Nice. Y four, four, nine, five. No, it's me. Soy yo. Cuando yo entro, dice eso. Ah, <laughs> ok. <laughs> Continue. Ok. No, no. Ajá, sí, sí. Hoy... Hoy que estaba ahí repitiendo los números, acabo de entrar. Pero, uh -huh. no, le, no, le, no le entendí. Uh -huh. Que ahí está hablando de un apóstrofe que habla de la posesión, dice ella. Uh -huh. Ya lo va a decir. Ah, pues como, como acabo de entrar. ¿no? Ahorita que entremos, ahorita que entremos le podemos preguntar, y le voy a preguntar yo, que si ese apóstrofe uh -huh. solamente es para hablar de la posesión de alguien más. O sea, de un tercero, digamos, o de un segunda persona. Ah, pero los números es fácil, babo. Te los puedes vos, ¿hasta cuánto los puedes? El 100. <risa> Aquí está la teacher. <risa> Yo hasta 100 creo que me los puedo también. Vaya 100, tícher. creo que va. 100. Aquí pregúntale a la teacher. Hello, Edwin, José. <risa> Hola. Hello. Hello. Uh, you, are, you're, you have a question. Ok, don't worry. Esto que dije del apóstrofe es solo para decir, eh, por ejemplo, my work's number is, el número de mi trabajo es. Ah. Es porque para no decir the number of my work. 
o the number of my home is, para evitar decir todo eso bien largo, usamos así el apóstrofe. Y se, lo, se le pone al, por ejemplo, yo diría Edwin's number is. Alfredo's eh, cell phone number is. Pero en este caso dijera Alfredo's, ahí llevará la S. Cabal, después de Alfredo. Alfredo, apóstrofe S. O Edwin, apóstrofe S. Edwin's Pero, cua uh -huh. is Pero cuando yo hablo de mi, de mi, perdón, teacher, cuando yo hablo de mi cell, de mi número, no, ahí no lo llevo. No, porque usted dice my cell uh -huh. number is. Correcto. Es ah, mi. pues sí. Uh -huh. My works number. Ah. Pero es como cuando estamos hablando de una, de unas, digamos, de una segunda persona o de o tercera. algún lugar en específico. Más que todo en, tercer, en tercera persona, porque en segunda en persona, persona sería ¿no? your number is, or your work number. Ah, bueno, sí, okay. también. Your work number is, ajá. Sí, segundo, ajá. tercero. Ajá. Perdón, teacher, y la conversación que estábamos teniendo con Alfredo la escuchó todos los demás compañeros. No, no, solo usted. No, no, yo acabo de entrar. <ríe> ah, bueno. No se preocupe. Ok. Teacher. Ok. Teacher. Diga, Alfredo. Es que no sé si ya pasó lista, es que yo sí, acababa de ingresar. Acaba de entrar. La, Ahorita, la se la... Sesión, sí. Ahorita se la marco, José Edwin. José Alfredo, perdón. Ahorita, José Alfredo. Gracias. Bye, ya sí. Oh, ya está más claro, teacher. Gracias. No, y eso está bien. Que pregunten, porque así no se quedan. Thank con... you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, guys, I'm going to ask some people randomly um, uh, for your numbers. For example, let me see. The first person, Jonathan. Jonathan, what's your cell phone number? Uh, my cell phone number is 7048. Night one, night o. Okay. Can you repeat, please? Uh, my cell phone number is seven o four eight night one nine o. Okay. It's seven o o eight nine one nine zero. Correct. It's correct. <laughs> Thank you. Erika Carranza, what's your cell phone number, Erika? My cell phone number is 7092812. Okay, I'm going to repeat. 7092081. Correct. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see, Jose Alfredo Cruz. What's your cell phone number, Jose? But please activate your microphone. We don't listen. What's your cell phone number, Mr. Cruz? My cell phone number is seven six two five. A six zero six. Okay, it's seven six two five a six zero six. Correct. Thank you. Let's see, Stephanie Carolina Ferrer. What's your cell phone number, Stephanie? Uh, six a nine three four four nine five. Six eight nine three 
Thank you. And the last going to be for Lisette Marisol. Lisette Marisol, what's your cell phone number? My cell phone number is five, five perdón, seven, five, zero, five, zero, three, three, eight. Seven five zero five zero three three eight. <laughs> okay, thank you people for participating with your numbers. Excellent. Good. Now let's pass to the topic, the common objects. You can see here some common objects or things that we usually have in our backpack or in our bag. For example, the women, we have perfume. We can have perfume. We can have some, give me a moment. Uh -huh. We can have some perfume or change, change or cash, right? Or credit cards, hair pins, like the ones I have today in my ear, hair pins, hair bands, a wallet, gum, uh, the phone, the mobile phone, earbuds or earphones, audifonos, earphones, tissues, tissues, right? To clean your nose or your hands, mints or candies, sunglasses and makeup kit. That's very important, the makeup kit and the lip. Okay, so here are some common objects. What, oh, okay, now in the next picture, I will send you this if you want. Se los puedo enviar si gustan para que la tengan allí. This information. Now, in the next picture, or in the next slide, we have here two tables, two charts. We have what's in a woman's bag, what's in a man's bag. Well, woman, a woman has different things than a man, right? So can you tell me what are some of the, some of the uh, objects that a woman has in a bag? What's in a woman's bag? In a girl's. What is in Erica's bag? What is in Norcidel's bag? What is in a woman? What's in a woman's bag? A woman is in Excuse me? Cell phone. Oh, the cell phone. Yes, it's very important. Okay, the cell phone. What else? Makeup. Yes, the makeup kit. Sunglasses. Sunglasses, yes. I always carry my sunglasses with me. I also use an umbrella when it's very sunny. Lipsticks. Okay, yes. Lipstick, a bottle of water. Nice. Cash. Okay, cash. Also, okay. We use a money bag. Una, un monedero, money bag. Eh, what did you say? Can you repeat? Credit card. Credit cards or debit cards. Okay. Means. Means or candy. <laughs> okay. What about the keys? The keys. La llave, the keys. I always have a hairband, una cola, hairband, or a clip. Mm -hmm. A wallet with your document. Earphones. Earphones, okay, to listen to music. Earphones. 
Oh, okay. Some people have some perfume, lotion, cream, or a, I forgot, a splash, right? Very nice. What now? What's in a man's bag? In a man's bag? Summer. Can you repeat, please? A camera. A camera. <laughs> okay, a camera. Okay. Um, okay, what kind of case? Laptop case, um, pencil case. <laughs> ah, decía llaves. <laughs> ah, keys. Okay, keys. Keys. La pronunciación de llaves en inglés es, es similar a la de beso. Keys. Okay. Keys. Uh -huh. What else? Camera, keys, maybe a deodorant. And towels. A towel. Uh -huh. Una toalla. Ajá, pero no voy a decir el otro antes. Una okay. toalla sanitaria. Ah, wow. eso es en el caso de, un, de, una, de una mujer, pero ahorita ya estamos en el de un hombre. What's in a men's bag? En el de hombre estamos ya. Pero en, en el caso de mujer, Glasses. toallas sanitarias se puede decir pad. ¿Quién hago pad? Wallet. Okay. Ok. Y en el caso de decir high brush, o sea, cepillo de cabello, es no. igual a peine. He, sorry. I didn't understand. Igual que peine. Oh, o comb. A comb. Or a hairbrush. Glasses. Ok, glasses. A ver los hombres dónde están para que nos digan que andan ellos allí siempre. Yeah. Wallet, money, cash, credit cards. cards, a picture of their girlfriend. <laughs> Documents, right? Personal ID. What else, guys? Los varones no quieren hablar. Hey, man. Cell phone. Matches. Matches. Matches or lighter. Okay. Fósforo o encendedor. Hmm, for cigarettes. Okay, what else? A bottle of water, maybe? Do you do you carry a bottle of water, guys? I see the guys with earphones or headphones. Headphones, headphones right? Headphones. Headphones son los, los grandes, los grandotes, headphones, okay? And the little ones are ears. Earphones, earphones, okay? Nice, and also sometimes the men have a um, handkerchief, un pañuelo, handkerchief, okay? Handkerchief, or pen knife, a pen. Pen knife es una navaja de, ese, de esas que se abren y tienen varias cositas. A pen knife. In a pen, lapicero. Yay, good. So you can see here different things and common objects that we usually have in our bag. Okay, so this is vocabulary for you, guys. Right? Important vocabulary for you. Good. Now, in the next part, you can see here classroom objects. Los anteriores eran common objects, objetos comunes, common objects. 
But now here we're going to practice with classroom objects, objects that we use when we study. For example, we have here, this is, what is this? A book. Ah, okay. We use an article. Cuando hablamos de un objeto en inglés, le ponemos una, una, un artículo. En este caso sería, this is a book, or this is a book. ¿Verdad? Este es un libro que indica una cosa, una cosa. Y si se fijan, usamos a or a before a consonant sound. Cuando la siguiente palabra tiene un sonido consonante. Pero si la palabra tiene un sonido vocal, entonces no le vamos a usar a or a. We are going to use an. For example, we say, this is an eraser. An eraser. ¿Por qué se le pone el an? Porque imagínense que no llevara la, no usáramos la n. Sonaría bien extraño, diría así. This is a e racer. This is a elephant. This is a apple. This is um, an umbrella. This is um, a orange. This is a uniform. So we use an before. Okay, number three. This is an English, an English book. book. An English book. Number four, this is a dictionary. A dictionary, okay. Or dictionary. this is a dictionary. Number five, this, this is, is a, a notebook. This is a notebook. And number six, this is a an encyclopedia. An encyclopedia. This is an encyclopedia. An encyclopedia. So, encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> An encyclopedia. Yes, that's right. So now here we are going to help me to uh, put an article before these words. For example, bore. Sería? A bore. Book bag. A book bag. A book bag. Cassette player. A cassette player. Chair. A chair. Clock. A clock. A clock. Desk. A desk. Dictionary. A dictionary. Door. A door. A door. Map. A map. A map. 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 Pen. A pen. A pen. Pencil. A pencil. A pencil. Table. A table. A table. Wall. A wall. Waste basket. A waste basket. basket. A window. A window. A window. Okay. Now, guys, um, I'm going to say the word in Spanish and you tell me what is the word in English. Okay? Uh, see ya. Chair. Okay. Lapis. Pencil. Pencil. Pizarra. Board. Board. Reload. Ventana. Window. Mesa. Table. Puerta. Door. 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 Escritorio. Desk. Mapa. Basurero. 
Trash can. Trash. Yes, or here, waste basket. <laughs> Canasta <laughs> waste basket. Thanks. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. So now, let's go over the next part. In the next part, we have. Excuse me. Pronunciation, the plural endings of the common object. Okay. This is very important when we speak in English, it's important to pronounce the S correctly. If you pronounce the S, you will sound better. So here, for example, we have telephone and the plural is telephones, telephones. Camera, cameras, book bag, book bag. Book bag. It's like a right the sound. Telephone, cameras, book bag. Now the others is this. Desk, desks. Map, maps. Waste basket, waste basket. And others, the pronunciation is is for example, sentence, sentences. Exercise, exercises, exercises. Watch, watch, watch. Okay. Now here we have some words, and I need you to tell me what is the plural of address. What is the plural of address? Addresses. Addresses. Yes. Briefcase, 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 Brief clock, clocks, 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 clocks. Uh -huh. key, keys, 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 newspaper, newspaper. Papers. Papers. Fours. Papers. Yes. Fours. Fours. Stamps. Stamps. Yes. Television. Television. Tickets. 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 Okay, I'm gonna write in the chat Tickets. other words and you will help me to write and say the, the plural form. Okay, the first one. Cell phones. Cell phones. Cell phones. Cell Houses. Houses. Brushes. Bottles. 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 Pictures. 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 Cameras. 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 Car. 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 Let me think. Uh, flower. 
flowers. 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 Yes, flowers. Flowers. Yes. Photos. 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 Cup. 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 Lipsticks. 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 Sofa. 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 Cats. 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 Dogs. 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 Chickens. 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 Notebooks. 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 Table. 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 Yes. Okay. Papers. Banana. Banana. Bananas. Bananas. Students. 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 Teacher. 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 School. 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 Yeah. So this exercise was for you to practice the plural form. Okay, the plural forms. Remember, the best way to learn is practicing. Great. Okay, we don't have time to do this, so we are going to do it on Monday. We're going to continue. But please tell me, what did you learn today? What did you learn in this class today? For example, you can say, today I learned, hoy aprendí, I learned to say the telephone numbers. For example, my cell phone number is 7068-6497. Oh, we study common objects. For example, and you can mention five or 10 or 20 common objects. So one volunteer, please, to, to say what you learned today in class. Somebody? Nobody? Volunteer or victim? They are learning to say uh, plural, plural numbers. For example? Uh, Tools, tables, um, television, um, kids, plural nouns, right? Plural nouns. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, thank you. No, no, vi quien era, but thank you. Edith. Ah, Edith. Okay, thank you. Edith. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? What else? Maria Vilma? The, the microphone. Today I learned to say telephone number. Uh, for example, um, my number is 7A58098. One. 
Excellent, Maria Vilma. Thank you for using the, the useful expressions. Okay. Now, please, uh, in this moment, I'm going to ask you, who can tell me 10 common objects? Can we please say yes? 10 common objects. Yes. Objetos comunes. 10 palabras que hoy aprendimos en clase. The common objects or classroom objects. Ten words, okay. Aparte de Edith, somebody else? <laughs> bueno, empecemos con Edith en lo que se anima a alguien más. Okay, Edith, go ahead. Ten words. Edith, your microphone. Hairbrush. Hairbrush, yes. Wallet, um, sunglasses, cash, camera, cell phone, table, television, um, address book. Mm -hmm. Map. Okay, thank you, Edith. Great job. Okay, somebody else? Ten words. Elisa Maria, I see you like. Are you want hey. to? Hey, lip lipstick. Lipstick. Say. Um, wallet. Wallet. Cash, credit card, um, you can do it, you can do it. I pings here, I, I pings. Okay, this one, uh, no sé cómo se pronuncia es English, sunglasses, sunglasses. Sunglasses, uh -huh. um, to open uh, the door. Era, quiero ver. To open uh, the door. You need. No recuerdo. <laughs> keys. La llave es keys. Keys. Yeah, keys. <laughs> okay, what about this one? To listen to music. Um, air, air boots, head, earbuds, no sé. earbuds, or headphones. Headphones. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Il, the last activity, I'm going to dictate. I'm going to dictate a, my ID number. My ID number is my identification, personal identification. My ID number. Are you ready? Okay. Um, the number is zero four six zero three zero three three two. I'm going to repeat zero four six zero three. Zero three three two. Who can tell me the number? Can we say that? Say that. Your microphone. The teacher's ID number is zero four six zero three zero three three two. Great, that's great. Yes, it's exactly right there. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for your participation in class. Thank you for connecting. Espero que hayan aprendido algo muy importante hoy. Y si no, a repasar la clase. Y um, I will send you the exercise. Se le voy a mandar dos ejercicios para que practiquen. Numbers. And I will see you on Monday. Okay?
see you on Monday. See you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice Monday. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye.